Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, we will see what does final keyword do in Java. So for example, I have a class called hello and I define a variable public final int number and I have added final to uh, the variable declaration. What does this final declaration do in front of any variable declaration or in front of class declaration or even in front of method declaration they have different meaning whenever you add it with the variable or a method or a class so let's see what does this keyword mean so the final keyword has numerous way to use when we use final keyword with a class this class cannot be subclassed when you use final with a method, this method cannot be overridden by a subclass. And when you use final with a variable, it can only be initialized once. Okay. So, first of all, we will see this point that if you declare a variable as final, it can only be initialized once. Okay. So I have declared a member variable, which is public final int number. And what's here written, it can only be initialized once, right? So for example, I declare a constructor with the same name and I'm going to initialize this value in my constructor. So number is equal to 10 okay so we I have initialized it only once right now I will uh, create an instance of this class in my main method hello is equal to or hello hel is equal to new hello and what I'm going to do is I'm trying I will try to assign the value to this number hello dot number once again right so for example 20 okay and when I run the program or compile the program it gives me error and the error says the final field hello dot number cannot be assigned right so once I assign this variable which is final then I cannot initialize it once again okay so if I comment this this will uh, compile perfectly fine so it has compiled perfectly fine but uh, if I try to reinitialize or reassign a value to a final variable then it's not allowed so generally you whatever uh, value or whatever variable you want to declare it as a constant you can add final keyword keyword before this okay now the first point the final class cannot be subclassed when we will learn about inheritance we will also learn about what is subclassing and what the subclassing means is you can have the properties of one class into another class by the means of inheritance. So for example, I have uh, the student class, which whose property I want to use it or property or member variables or member method inside my hello class. I can use it like extends and then student class, not this one, but student not this but this student right and this is totally fine if you write extend student this means that we are inheriting from student class to hello class and this inheritance we will learn in the further video but I want to show you what this final keyword mean right and when we compile the program it will give us the error and what is the error Final cannot be initialized. Let's comment this and then once again 
compile the program and it compiles totally fine right because student class is not final right so if you add this final keyword before the declaration of a class for example i will write public class student instead of public class student i write public final class student final class student so i have made this class as final right so if i made this class as final now see what happens it shows whenever i compile the program it will show error and what is the error here the type hello cannot subclass the final class student okay so whenever you declare a class as final you cannot subclass it from it yeah okay so you cannot extend from that class okay and the point in the middle that the final method cannot be overridden by the subclass this we will learn when we learn how to use inheritance and how to use overriding in a class okay so just remember these three uh, key key sentences and you will be good to go i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now